MS PowerPoint 2010 Animation In PowerPoint 2010, you can animate any object like shapes, pictures and clip art on the slide. PowerPoint provides four types of animations that is entrance, emphasis, exit and motion paths. Animation Effect Animation effects can make an object appear, disappear or move. PowerPoint enables you to add animation effects to each object on your slide. These options are available in the four groups that is Preview, Animation, Advanced Animation and Timing of Animations tab. Any object can have one or more of the four types of animation effects applied to it. When you click on the arrow in the animation group, a list of animation styles opens. There are four types of animation effects that you can apply to any object. Entrance. Here you set the way the object enters the slide. Emphasis. Once the object has taken its place on the slide, you can add more animation effects for emphasis. Exit. Here you set the way the object exits the slide. Motion paths. You can make any object move in a certain path using the available options. Select an animation effect to apply it. Animation will be displayed on the selected object on the slide. Follow these steps to apply animation to the images inserted on slide. First of all, select any image. Open Animation tab. Open Animation Styles and select any animation effect from menu. Click on Add Animation arrow in the Advanced Animation group to open the list of animation styles. Any object can have one or more of the four types of animation effects applied to it. Animation Pane Animation Pane enables you to work with the different animation effects that you have applied to the slide objects and modify them. Click on Animation Pane option in Advanced Animation group to open it. In the Animation Pane, all the animation effects applied to the different objects of the slide are listed. If you click on the play button, all the animations will play out in the order in which they were applied. You can click on any effect to select it and then reorder it using the reorder buttons at the bottom of the pane. Timing the effects we can include timing in a slide, which is also part of animation. Steps to be followed to set the duration of each effect. Click on the arrow of the effect in animation pane. Next, set the timing in the duration text box in timing group of animations tab. Automating animation. You can start each animation with the click of your mouse or simply automate it. To do so, follow these simple steps. Select an animation from Animations pane. Click on the arrow next to Start drop-down box in Timings group to display a menu of options. Select With Previous option if you want to display the selected animation effect together with the previous one. Select After Previous option if you want to display the selected animation effect after the next one. Slide Transition After completing your presentation, you need to view it. When you run the slideshow, all the slides come one after the other at the click of your mouse. Moving forward to the next slide, or going back to previous slide in the presentation is called slide transition. You can use slide transition options to create animation-like effects when the next or previous slide comes. This is the slide transition tab.
When you click on this arrow, a list of transition styles opens. Sample Presentation To understand how to apply these animation effects, let us create a sample presentation. Here is a presentation on pollution with six slides. Now, let us look at the steps to apply slide transition effects to the pollution presentation. Click the second slide. Open Transition tab. Select any transition style from the transition to this slide group. Set duration of 2 seconds in the advanced slide automatically after box. This will advance your slide automatically after 2 seconds. Repeat steps of setting the transition style and also setting the duration as previously done for each slide. Run the slideshow to view the transition effects. Sound clips. PowerPoint allows you to add sound clips on your slide. You can add sound from a computer music file, clip organizer or CD audio track. You can also add recorded sound to your slide. To add sound clip file from your computer, select the Insert tab. Click the Audio option in the Media group. Select the option Audio from File. Insert Sound dialog box will appear. Select any music file from your computer. After selecting a music file, click Insert button to insert sound file to your slide. Speaker-like icon will appear. You can delete your sound clip by selecting the sound clip and pressing the delete key. To add sound clip from Clip Organizer, select the option Clip Art Audio from Audio drop down menu. Clip Art Task Pane will appear. Enter keywords in the search box and click Go button. Select any sound clip file to insert it. Own Sound. You can add your recorded clip to your PowerPoint presentation. To insert recorded clip, select the Insert tab. Click the Sound button in the Media Clips group. Select the option Record Sound. Record Sound dialog box will appear. Record your voice and change the name of recorded sound. Click OK button to insert your recorded voice. Video Clips PowerPoint provides the facility to add video clips or movie on your presentation. You can insert a video clip from your computer or clip organizer. To add video clip file from your computer, select the Insert tab. Click the Video button in the Media group. Next, select the option Video from File. Insert video dialog box will appear. Select any video clip from your computer. After selecting a video clip, click insert button to insert video file to your slide. Video clip will appear on slide. Action buttons. Action buttons are built-in shape buttons used for hyperlinking. The hyperlinking may be internal, within the presentation, or external outside the presentation. To insert action button, select insert tab. Click the shapes option in the illustrations group. Drop down menu will appear. Select any action button from the bottom of the list. Draw selected button on the slide. Action setting dialog box will appear. Now select mouse click or mouse over option tab accordingly. There will be three options available in action settings, namely hyperlink to. This will be used to have hyperlink in the same presentation or other presentation or a file. Run program. This will be used to run a program like MS Word. And run macro. This will be used to run a macro like change font. Click on Hyperlink 2 and select any option. Now you can select any sound to your action button if required. Click OK. 
you can check by slideshow option or by pressing F5 key and then clicking on the action button. Import from Word. You can insert a Word file to your presentation using the action button. Steps to be followed to import Word file to your presentation. Select any action button from the bottom of the list of the Shapes option on the Insert tab. Draw document button on the slide. Action settings dialog box will appear. Select mouse click or mouse over option. Click on hyperlink to and select other file option. Hyperlink dialog box will appear. Browse and select your word file and click OK. You can select any sound to your action button if required. Click on action button on slideshow. Word file will be inserted in your presentation.